watching the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to for accurate, dependable weather forecasts 24 hours a day. Now Mother's Day weekend is here and we're promising a good one weather-wise to get outdoors, maybe a barbecue with mom, give her a break from the kitchen on the west coast and on the east coast. And it was a real nice day in Atlanta for the uh, golf tournament. The Bell South Classic, second round action, third round action Saturday, 89 degrees, humidity about 27, 28 percent. With Tom Kite there teeing off. The uh, fairways are fast with the uh, dry weather over the past couple of days and the warm sunshine, just a perfect uh, kind of day to be out in the uh, crowds and in uh, watching the uh, putting there on the green. Good shot there. It's going to be sunny through the weekend for that area. And one of the reasons is because of a big blocking ridge we've got over the eastern part of the country. Here it is. And as that ridge sets up shop, we're going to be following that in the east. And that will be uh, producing a great Mother's Day. Big trough in the west. And that's feeding in a lot of moisture, a lot of instability. We've had over 40 tornadoes so far this evening in parts of the Plain States. This is slowly going to move east as the west coast stays dry and warms up for Saturday and Sunday. Here's our blocking ridge, and that'll keep things dry and warm, and humidity values beginning to creep up, though, especially along the Gulf Coast. Right here is where we're going to have our problems the next couple of days. Show you the satellite photo, and we've had lots of problems tonight. Numerous tornadoes, wind damage, large hail, torrential downpours anywhere from Minnesota all the way down to uh, the Rio Grande Valley. The reds and oranges indicating the higher cloud tops or the colder cloud tops. This is our infrared picture, and we've colorized it for you to give a, you a better idea of what's going on out there. Behind the storm, some cold air and some snow in the Rockies. Fair weather setting up for the west coast, despite maybe a few raindrops on your windshield in the Pacific Northwest. Don't worry about it. Won't be a weekend problem. And look at the east. Looking good, too, all weekend long with maybe a sea breeze in Boston setting up each afternoon. Look at all the tornadoes. We've got so many. We actually put the red uh, triangles over one another. Also plenty of wind and hail damage this evening. And we'll be moving that area a bit farther to the east on Saturday and a little bit farther to the east for Mother's Day. Here's our outlook overnight tonight. A lot of red on the map. Still strong storms, severe storms, dangerous weather. We've had violent uh, tornadoes skipping through the plains. This watch is going to expire in about another 57 minutes for parts of Minnesota. Storms now knocking on the back door of Minneapolis. This severe thunderstorm watch up till 4. Heading down that squall line, that intense line of storms, we pick up a tornado watch for parts of Kansas and Oklahoma until 3. And way down in Texas from Del Rio over, Del Rio over towards Brownsville, a severe thunderstorm watch till 5. Here's a line we've been following. Notice the storms are moving almost north, a little east of north, generally about 25 or 30 miles an hour. And where you see the reds and oranges, that's where the strongest storms are putting down torrential downpours and producing the gusty winds. What we're going to do is flash the strongest cells to give you an idea of what to expect. St. Cloud just about ready to get hammered. Minneapolis later on and all the way down towards southern sections of the state. These storms are moving on through with the uh, heavy rainfalls. And we've had wind gusts reported generally in the 55 to 60 mile an hour range. Some of the gusts as strong as 70 miles an hour. Omaha just to the uh, east of town now heading in towards Topeka. Looks like a second line is formed west of the first front of storms uh, now to the east of Scottsbluff and McCook in Nebraska also pushing off to the east northeast. South of there a strong line of storms. Ponca City right now is getting just uh, nailed with gusty winds. Uh, just a lot of rainfall, a lot of lightning, hail and uh, certainly the risk of a tornado as this whole area is under a tornado watch. Oklahoma City just on the southern fringe of that line of storms. Heading into Texas around Abilene to the east of town. West Texas is in pretty good shape for the rest of the weekend. Drier air coming in. But that severe thunderstorm watch through the early morning hours for parts of southern Texas, southeastern Texas with just one big storm cell now southeast of Del Rio in Texas. And it's not over with. Tomorrow, another very action-packed day. If you've got plans to get outdoors, uh, maybe a sporting event, maybe that weekend barbecue, you're likely to be interrupted by some afternoon and evening thunderstorms moving in from the southwest. So keep an eye in that direction and keep checking back with us here at the Weather Channel. More red on the map. And Sunday, too, is not going to be a lot of fun for the plains with the jet stream diving down, keeping it stormy in the plains. But the ridge we saw popping up in the east and a ridge in the uh, west, too. So the weather on either coast looks great for Mother's Day. Speaking of the west, let's head there right now with uh, a little bit of rain in the uh, Puget Sound area around Portland this evening, some snow in the Cascades. High pressure ridging in, and that will uh, provide a windy but a dry day for Saturday. Warmer weather, though, for Sunday. 
56 in Seattle right now, or for the high rather this afternoon. Notice the LA Basin only in the 70s and Phoenix, Phoenix at 89, but it's going to be warming up and turning hot again for most of California and Arizona with an offshore flow. San Fernando Valley should see highs on Mother's Day between, say, 95 and 98 degrees. 55 right now in San Francisco, 58 in Sacramento. Pacific Northwest still pretty much shrouded in the clouds, but you'll be clearing out over the weekend and temperatures will slowly moderate, especially for Sunday. Here's our front once again having very little effect on the west. It's pushed on through with the high building in, creating the wind field and keeping the, uh, the breezes up. And uh, the gusty winds may blow some of the sand around and out through the desert areas if you're doing any driving tomorrow. Here comes a big high in Saturday afternoon. And what it will do, it'll clear skies out. So put away the umbrellas and get the sunglasses out for uh, Seattle over towards Yakima, down to Burns, over to Portland and the Dalles, San Francisco Bay, a windy, mild day and starting to heat up in the deserts and then we'll see that warmth push all the way to the beaches and Mother's Day looks like the kind of day you want to take mom out maybe out to the beach and play some volleyball. San Bernardino in the morning 48 degrees high temperature tomorrow 87 Palm Springs getting close to the century mark and we're starting to see things warm up too in the LA Basin even warmer on Sunday Tahoe Valley 29 a bit breezy in the afternoon but a beautiful day in Yosemite the falls are roaring Good day for hiking and camping. Get there before the crowds get there in a few weeks. In through the northern Sacramento Valley, plenty of wind. Red bluffs high in the low 80s and about 70 or so from Monterey up to San Francisco. There are your leftover showers in the morning heading on out. And the rest of the weekend, clean and green with a sunny forecast for Seattle and Portland. And thermometers tomorrow, generally mid to upper 60s. How about the rest of the country? Here we go. Look at this, some 90s showing up. Humidity starting to creep up to those almost uncomfortable levels in the southeast for the first time this year. You'll need a big pitcher of iced tea and uh, a cool breeze to stay uh, cool this weekend as we see the 80s all the way up towards the Catskills in New York, Chicago sharing in the warmth. But right here where we have the dividing line between the two air masses is where we're going to be focusing our storms. And once again, not only uh, the rest of this evening, but tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, and again Mother's Day, we're going to have a lot of active weather out here and the possibility of violent thunderstorms certainly does exist. We urge you to keep checking back with us. Here's the Saturday map once again. Severe weather right here in the heartland of the country. Notice that most of the west coast is dry and despite maybe a run of the mill afternoon thunderstorm in the east to the southeast, nothing really to worry about. And same goes for Mother's Day. Very, very quiet. A little backdoor cold front. They produce a shower in parts of uh, southern New England and then the winds will turn around from the northeast, cooling thing th things down for po uh, Portland and Boston. Sunday to Monday, a slow movement of the front and more strong storms likely for St. Louis.